What's going on with you guys? How you doing? How you living? How you loving? You taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of in your lives? Are you doing well? I wish you all the best and I hope that you're doing great. Back with a first listen. I heard about 30 seconds of this song and I went, nope, nope, zap, 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 zap. I need to stop. I need to do this for a first listen because I wasn't sure what I was in for. I want to say it's almost kind of industrial metal, but I don't know for sure. And I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this name, but it basically sounds like Anal Nathan or Anal Nathrak, but it's, I think it's Anal Nathrak. And I don't know what that means, so put that in the comments below if that's, maybe they're from somewhere else and that means like uh, anal beads. I don't know what it means. Uh, so so you can put that in the comments and say, that means this, guys. Um, but this song is the first song on their, on their list here. It's called Forward. And uh, I was listening to some metal playlist or something like that, and it popped on. And it went, and I went, ah, sassy. see, I got to stop, because this might be a good one. And, and I could be completely wrong. And I think it's from an album called, 2018 album called A New Kind of Horror. But let's look at the band, and then we're going to get into this song and see what we think of it. Yes? Good. Um, they have 87,141 monthly listeners. So that's, you know, that's, that's not shabby at all. Um, the number one song is a song we're doing today called Forward! Exclamation point. Then you've got Obscene as Cancer. Uh, hold your children close and your cuts off, I don't know. And your parents closer? I don't know. Number four is We Will Fucking Kill You. I mean, wow. These guys might be aggressive. What do you think? Do you think these guys are going to be aggressive? Uh, Forging Towards the Sunset is the number five track. That's got 807,000 plays. Uh, albums that they have. And it looks to be just two dudes. So I'm thinking it's some kind of an industrial metal situation. Um, but they've got uh, Codex Necro 2009, When Fire Rains Down from Cuts Off, so I don't know, if, I, I apologize about that, 2009, uh, Domain, Domain Non S Dingus 2004, uh, Ish, Ishaton, these guys are going to be from Europe, aren't they? Uh, uh, 2009's Totally Fucking Necro. So they don't really want to sell albums in, in Walmart, do they? Uh, they've got 2011's Passion. Um, they got a bunch of albums here, but we're two, uh, A New Kind of Horror, and I think that's what it's from. Let's take a look real quick. Is it A New Kind of Horror? Yes, it is. It's from the 2018 album A New Kind of Horror. Let's look into related artists, a bit of the bio, and then we're going we're gonna to bang this sucker out and see what we think of it. Uh, yeah, a bunch of bands that I, uh, one of these bands seems kind of creepy to me. Uh, I've, I've seen something online about 1349. Do you know who that is? Or is there another band like 1482 or something? I can't remember. Uh, Belfagor, uh, 1349, Emperor. Okay, so maybe these guys got some black metal. Yeah, Marduk, Rotting Christ. I like some of that stuff. Carpathian Forest, there's some black metal. Satyricon. And see, I like the cheesy stuff from Satyricon. I like uh, King and all that. I like that album. Uh, Gorgoroth. Yeah, Gorgoroth. Uh, why do you do this? Why do you do this kind of music? Say that. Watain. Immortal. Yeah. So are these guys going to be black metal? We'll find out. Little bit of the bio, then into the song. Anal. Anal. Not right. I just want to say anal. Uh, Anal Nathrak was created for one purpose, to be the soundtrack for Armageddon. Ho! Uh, the audio essence of evil, hatred, and violence through the true spirit of Necro, taken to a musical extreme. Since 1999, the band has gained a reputation for embodying precisely these things, with a history including not only the release of eight albums and an EP, to... Uh, rapturous acclaim, but calibrations with such legendary figures as Attila Sishar, Mayhem, Shane Embry, love him, and uh, Danny Herrera from Napalm Death, uh, Nick Barker, Testament, Demia Barker, um, Joey Hor Hor Horvath from Circle of Dead Children, nice. Seth Lons Titan from, from Watain, Watain, Watain. And so on, he says. And so on. 
This along appearing on BBC Radio's first, the personal uh, behest of sadly missed icon John Peel, uh, headlining a stage at the renowned Cult Inferno Festival in Norway as their debut international live performance. Okay, so it says right there in the bio that they this is the soundtrack to Armageddon, so I feel like this is going to be some, some intense stuff. Uh, two nice looking fellers there. You know, they're just kind of standing there. One's got his one's got his arms down to the sides. He's wearing a Hall & Oates t-shirt. Or no, that's, uh, is that, uh, oh, that looks like some kind of a, oh, that's Pig Destroyer. He's wearing a Pig Destroyer t-shirt. Other guy's got tattoos, got his arms folded as if to say, hello, I'm the, uh, uh, we are the, yeah, yeah, the evil hatred and violence in true, true incarnate. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay. Forward. Boy, I hope this isn't some kind of, I don't know. It, it's intriguing me. It is intriguing me. I am not going to lie about that. And it sounded like it was going to be something. So let's, let's check this out, all right? I'm going to give you a little taste of the mother's milk because I know you want it. I know you want it, and then we're going to go for it. Ready? Here we go. Take that. Boom. Yeah. It's like a spinning one. I went. It's like what? That's where I went. Oh! Oh, that's a gun. Oh, yeah, I like that. Boy, if he comes in singing a beautiful melody. Yeah, this is industrial metal. Would you call it that? Christmas. It's all going to be over by Christmas. He's talking about the new year. He's talking about new year. Good thing about this is you can have it all pre-recorded and just stand there and do this on stage. I like that. They got like samples of shotguns and stuff. I don't know if it's the incarnate of evil or whatever, but. It's all gonna be over by Christmas. Happy New Year! Is that the chanting? I love that riff. It's just like... It's got the ch the pumps and everything. Forward. He should have said Christmas there at the end. This dude does not like Christmas. What's this? Obscene as cancer. Uh, angry. 
angry, angry fellas. He should. I mean, it's over. It's going to be over before by Christmas. I mean, he's he's either a huge fan of Christmas or he's not a real big fan of Christmas. I like the shotgun sounding thing. They took those samples and like turned it into the beat. What do you think of that? Was that great, fantastic, wonderful, icky, stinky, yucky, never listen to it again, don't ever want to hear that, that's Junkaroni? I, I liked it. it, it had like a groove, it's industrial metal. Um, uh, uh, so what say you? Put it in the comments below and tell me everything you know about uh, Anal Nakroth. And, uh, and uh, yeah, have you ever seen them live? What's your favorite album from them? Do you know these fellers? Are they nice guys? Do they say, we're, we're, we're evil incarnate online, okay? Hate, uh, violence, uh, evil, uh, uh, say, uh, just all of it. That's us online, but when we're at home, we mow the lawn, we have, uh, you know, peach custard. We enjoy each other's company. Uh, so what say you put it in the comments below? Be my friend. Check out all my links below. Tell me what you thought of that jam. Forward by Anal Nakrath. Um, that's all I've got. So I love you so much. I'm going to swing in for a kiss and I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Okay. Um, bye.